Welcome to the We'll Make a Fan Out of You podcast episode two. This is the podcast where we talk about the wrestling world with our aim to make you a fan of us while we talk about the greatest entertainment on the planet. I'm Aaron Newsom, and he is Nitesh T-Dog Sharma. You can listen to us wherever you get your podcasts from. You can check us out on our YouTube channel, We'll Make a Fan Out of You. Nitesh, give them the socials. Right. Well, hopefully I can do better than we did in episode one. Our socials are at Make a Fan of You. You can find us on X, Instagram, and TikTok. Also, if you do want to see this podcast in video format, hit us up on YouTube. Um, we are we'll make a fan out of you on YouTube, and once again, our socials are at make a fan of you. We'd really like you think uh, this is something we want to stay consistent of. Professional wrestling is something that me and Aaron are both passionate about. So why not make a podcast about it? Why not? Exactly. Why not? let our fans see what it's like and what our opinions are like in the wrestling business and the wrestling world might be wrong might be right you never know yeah it's just our opinion we always have conversations about wrestling so we might as well put a camera for us record it and see if anyone else shares the opinions with us today we're going to go over the royal rumble from this year 2024 and then lead that into our predictions for what we're going to get night one and night two at wrestlemania this will be the making and breaking. We're either going to be absolute geniuses and call everything correctly, or everything will be wrong. Everything There'll be no be middle wrong. ground. There'll be no middle ground at all. But, yeah, all roads lead to WrestleMania. Pun intended. Yes. Yes. We just said it and went, oh, that's the name of the episode now. So, Royal Rumble, we're going to skim over a bit of this PLE era, not pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. We're going to we're going to go through the smaller matches first, smaller matches, and then we're going to do the actual Royal Rumbles, talk a bit through them, what we liked, what we didn't like. Then we'll go straight into a rant about predictions. We'll start with the Roman Reigns, AJ Styles, LA Knight, Randy Orton, Fatal 4-Way. Did they actually call it a Fatal 4-Way? It was a Fatal 4-Way match, yeah. They did call it one. Yeah, yeah, they? you're right. WWE, Undisputed, Universal Championship. My God, that needs shortening. <laughs> Just be the WWE Championship, please. It only works because Paul Heyman normally says it. Yeah. Anyone else says it, it sounds ridiculous. It makes no sense. Paul Heyman has that gravitas and the charisma to pull it off. This match was fairly bog standard, quite short as well. Everyone bullied Roman Reigns at the beginning. I don't agree with decent. that. Roman Reigns nah. is the champion. He should be dominant. Shouldn't be a slimy bitch. Yeah, we'll talk about it in future, but around the same time, well, a bit later, AEW Revolution had the Samoa Joe triple threat. And that's how you do a multi-man match with champion. The champion comes out the gates and attacks everybody, wins. That, he's on top. In this one, it was the other way around. He was the bitch. He got bullied. It, good match. Good pace to the match. Yeah, everyone got their moment to wrong. shine, didn't they? Everyone hit their finisher. Yeah. Um, LA Knight did his, whatever his finisher is. Phenomenal forearms and then RKO's yeah. out of nowhere. Styles Clash. Styles Clash, yeah. Always good to see that move. Love that move. Solo Sokoa comes out in that famous black hoodie of his. How how do you know it was him, though? There's just a guy in a black hoodie. Oh, everyone knows that, though, don't they, fans? We all know. I don't know if they do. I, I'm pretty sure. Black hoodie sales have gone up in the US by 85%, because apparently if you've got one on, no one knows who you are. <laughs> it's secret. It's, it's like the invisible yeah. cloak in Harry Potter. Yeah, exactly. AJ gets a chair out at some point, which, fair play. I think it was the only actual weapon out in the entire match. Yeah. But yeah, you've got... Yeah, it, we, everyone knew Roman was still winning. He was retaining. It makes no sense not for him. As much as I like the other guys in the match. If you're looking at it from the adult kind of outside point of view going, I'm not invested in this story at the minute because I'm waiting for after Rumble kind of thing. I just watching this match go in. There's no way anyone's beating him. No. And they did the usual solo comes out, gets some speed spikes on people yeah and then ultimately yeah roman reigns won Bog yeah standard not affair, right? say, yeah, really. yeah. He won. it was short as well yeah. it weren't the longest of matches no. second match up we'll talk about logan paul v kevin owens united states champion it was a it's a good rivalry kevin owens doesn't suit logan paul though like, they don't work as well together they don't as a, gel yeah and yeah. you could clearly see that this was like Welcome to the big league sort of match where Kevin Owens is really stiff. Yeah. On some of the 
moves that he gave to Logan were like shine or like really painful. Yeah, there was a load of the whole story of Kevin Owens having a broken hand. They went through that, mm-hmm. targeting that, targeting it was a standard affair. Could it have been on any of a PLE or could it have been on SmackDown or Raw? Yeah. It wasn't built up to be this great. I didn't like the build up no, to this match. They needed a filler match, though, didn't they, really? Let's, let's be honest. Yeah. In, in my eyes, though, there should have been a Rhea Ripley title defence. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. One of the book bears I've had this year with how they've booked Rhea Ripley and presented this is there's not enough title defences in it. She's elevating the Judgment Day, but the Judgment Day storyline's holding her back with quite a bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin Owens and Logan Paul, it was all right it was to watch. All right. It, KO got yeah. DQ'd and Logan Paul it was a, won the That match. was a silly finish. Yeah. It was silly. It was a bit, yeah, very meh. I understand why they did it, because heel can't win clean, but heel should have won clean. Both of these matches, heel should have won clean. Yeah. Logan Paul should have had a tough match against Kevin Owens, but then pulled it out of the bag at the end to be like, that's why I'm champ. Mm-hmm. He's not had that yet. No. Hopefully, we'll get into predictions in a bit, but I feel like that should be what happens at Mania. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Which, do you want to do the men's or the women's rumble first? Let's do the women's rumble it's, first. It, opened the, yeah. it was it was a good rumble. And it was. I think it, I slightly favoured this one to the men's. I, yeah, I can the see feeling that, I got the feeling you got from it. it the... We a bit of backstory. We all watched it together at yep. my uh, my family. And we decided it's it's start of Mania season. We do it. Every, we do the Royal Rumble together, and we do WrestleMania together. Hopefully, start yep. doing SummerSlam together as well. But Mania and Rumble. Yeah, we, we've watched one. Summer. We've watched SummerSlam quite a few times together. Yeah. Last year, you watched it down at Barbie. Yeah. Uh, that was Money in the Bank. Was that Money yeah, in the Bank? Yeah, yeah. yeah SummerSlam. I, uh, I think I was working. Typically, I tried to get a ticket for Money in the Bank, couldn't, and then ended up going away anyway that week. Oh, all comes up now, house for you, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the Women's Royal Rumble. I really enjoyed the Jordan Grace getting an appearance. She came in number five. Yes. Yeah. Hang on, let me check. Yep, number five. She had, well, to start with, Natalia and Naomi. She made her return. Yep, Naomi returned after Just... losing to Jordan Grace for that knockout yeah. title earlier that month. Yeah, so that was a nice start. Mm-hmm. You had a Bailey come out, and I think it was Candice, and you got Jordan come out. And that was a big pop. That was great. I didn't know much about her, but I knew what that belt was around the way. Yeah, yeah. It did what it needed to do. That forbidden door was open. Triple H doesn't like that word. I know. Triple H doesn't like any indie term. I don't know. He just he says he just finds it silly, doesn't mm-hmm. he? There's some great highlights in this build-up to WrestleMania of Triple H just like, he doesn't give a shit anymore. He'll say what he wants. Yeah. Still say with a bit of class behind it, but yeah, there's a few barbed comments coming out. You gotta like it. But yeah, Jordan Grace had a really good show in. I don't think that she got an elimination. But it was great to see. She got a, cool, a few cool moments throughout it. A stand off with a woman that I don't really like in wrestling. Yeah. And that is Bianca Belair, who, correct me if I'm wrong, was number ten. Yes. Yeah, you had a few of us in. Yeah. yeah. Ask could come out in the meantime. Mm. I remember that. And then, yeah, you got to buy Bianca, she came out. Your issue with Bianca is mainly she's shoved down your throat like John's. Yeah, yeah, just... And we've said it before that she's not aimed at us. No. She's aimed at she's kids. She's aimed at kids. She's going to sell... Her presentation, yeah. yeah. She's going to sell the toys and the merch and stuff like that. But yeah. she can't cut a good promo. She's a good athlete, I'll give her that. But, yeah, that's it. That's all I'll put on yeah. it. She's strong. She is very strong as well. Yeah, Bianca actually eliminates Jordan Grace as well with a KOD. KOD. Yeah, that was cool. Which, yeah, yeah, they're gonna have to eliminate her. Mm-hmm. I was, I'm a bit surprised she didn't get an elimination. To yeah, name. yeah, but that's the spot of how she got eliminated was cool and well handled. It made her look strong. It, yeah. it did a kind of shit on TNA. Essentially, yeah. yeah, exactly. They could have been very bad and yeah. sold them up the river. Mm-hmm. And then there's the filler section. You had a few people come in. Yeah, you Zelina Vega. Really, right? <laughs> yeah, Zelina Vega had her cosplay outfit on, which was always cool to see. Mm-hmm. Maxine Dupree, gotta love her. She came out. All in the meantime, Bailey's still surviving in the background. She came out number three, and we were slowly pump, getting pumped for this because the more it went on, the, the more, more we Bailey survived. We were like, I yes. want Bailey to. I, yeah, I was a big. I am a big advocate of Bailey. I am a hugger. We are both huggers. Yeah, we are both huggers. And it's her yeah. time to shine. She yeah. deserves it. 
and yeah, that's exactly. what Lee She's wanted. She's one, one of the four horsewomen who's not got that chance yet. Yeah. And then... So you've got... Well, yeah, it's not really much up until 19 when... Nia Jax comes oh, out. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Nia... When does... Yeah, Nia Jax comes out at Destroys 19, Destroys everyone. Gets yeah. the most eliminations in the match. Yeah. She's booked really... Sh- She's yeah. the beast, basically. And, like, then everyone decides to just jump on Nia Jax, even though I think that's a stupid move, because how are you going to get her up when she's been destroyed? Yeah. yeah she did the whole Super Saiyan thing yeah. and pushed, out, pushed them all off, her, which was cool, because I do like when they do the gang up to get the big person out of the ring. Yeah. But I also like when this happens, when they kind of reverse it. Yeah, and, and then... makes her look strong. Yeah, and then you got exactly. Bailey being me and like, yeah, I'm pretty smart. Um, yeah, you had Becky Lynch come in then 21, I want to say, 22, Yeah, 21. they started that. This is my rival. Uh, right, she's get, yeah, she's getting the moves over everyone. Yeah. The, the, this is the one that scared me because I didn't want Becky to win. As much as I love Becky, I did not want her to win the Royal Rumble. No. She doesn't need it. She doesn't need to win the Rumble to get to Mania. She's on that level now. So yeah, give it she to can do else. whatever she but, wants kind of thing. She's on the Charlotte Flair level of, I can get a title shot whenever I want. Yeah, or arguably she can have a WrestleMania match and not be invested without there being a belt on the line. Yeah, yeah. Give her the it's time to showcase. You've got Becky comes out, a couple of others, and then number 24, I called it before it began. Valhalla starts to come down the ring. Michael Cole gets excited, and then out of the corner of your eye, you just see R-Truth running past her, and it's like, oh, yes. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah, uh, they did a skit on the SmackDown before, I believe, with the numbers. Yeah, you were saying and that, and I don't R-Truth remember R-Truth did this. something that made me go, uh, R-Truth's coming out in the Women's Rumble. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I can't remember what it was now, but R-Truth was, I was like, I'm guaranteeing this is going to happen. And uh, yeah, he comes in, gets eliminated straight away by Nia Jax. I don't know if it counts as a elimination for her. I would have thought so. Was... And then Valhalla gets sent in and gets eliminated straight away as well. Poor Valhalla. Yeah, Adam Pearce comes in and goes, truth, get out of there. Valhalla get in the match. And then she gets thrown out. Um, it... I feel bad for her. I like Valhalla, but it's a funny moment. It's a funny moment, yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. And our truth, just we just need to appreciate him while he's still wrestling. I don't know how long it's going to go on for, but at the minute, I just hope it goes on forever. Yeah, yeah. Inject it in our veins, basically, his comedy. Yeah. And then you get Roxanne Perez from NXT comes out. I really enjoyed her coming out. Mm-hmm. She got a time uh, shine. You've seen quite a bit yeah. of NXT recently as well. Yeah. And Roxanne Perez. W- really weirdly, when I watch NXT, it's mainly the girls that stand out as, or the women's division stands out as the strongest part of it. Yeah. That gets me quite invested in, like, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm getting into these characters. Tiffany Stratton's another one. Yeah. And she comes, well, there's one more. We'll come, come back to 28. I think it's 20. Yeah, yeah. 28. 29 was Tiffy time, and it was great. Uh, this was the start of the pop, yeah. Tiffy. Yeah, yeah. It weren't quite, quite there the yet. The showcase got to elimination of what chamber. she can do. But she came out and had a very strong show, yeah. and then it just goes from strength to strength with her. Mm-hmm. But yeah, back to 28 was finally the storm has arrived. Jay Cargill. Yeah, she looked badass. I don't know what else to say about it. There's nothing you can say about it. She's they're being very smart with yeah. her. They're being very protective, building up, making sure she's ready, giving her the right type of matches to get her to where they want her to be. Yeah, because you can they tell need... she's not yeah. still not ready. She's only had a handful of matches in AEW. Yes, she improved each match. Yeah. And she had that TBS title run, which was fantastic. But yeah, it's it's that time, it's showcasing what she can do and yep. building a star out of her. Yeah. The the issues is you've got is she's that kind of high profile that you can't have a learn on the job. Like sort of Maxine Dupree's the opposite of this. Maxine but, Dupree's been around for a while. Yeah. The whole character's being built as oh she's learning to wrestle, mm-hmm. she's doing this, she's doing that. Jay Cargill looks like the superstar already. So she's not given the right yeah. presentation. Yeah. She's gonna fall flat. Yeah, she will fall flat. And I think that's what she did well in AEW was she was learning on the job, but she looked the part of it. Yeah. Yeah. And then she comes in, picks up Nia Jax, slams out, picks her up again, chucks her out of the ring, and Becky just stands there laughing. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that's the introduction you want. Mm-hmm. That is perfect booking. Yeah. And then number 30 is Liv Morgan, yeah. which was a back of a damn squid. It was. I love Liv, but. 
I, she got sold down the river. Somebody else should have been yeah. 30. Yeah. Maybe Jay Cargill should have had that maybe, 30 spot. Maybe, or Tiffany Stratton should have had the 30. Yeah. I feel like Liv Morgan should have come back a bit earlier. Yeah. Or maybe You could Becky. have even gave Becky yeah. 30. Yeah. And then, because that would have put the fear of God into everybody going, oh, no, Becky's winning. Because, yeah. as we just said, Becky doesn't need to win it. Oh, at this point, she... I still didn't know who would win. There was No, I didn't. Wasn't... I wanted Bailey to win. Yeah. We both said beforehand we want Bailey to yeah. win. This needs to be her year, her time. Mm-hmm. As much as I would have loved Tiffy to win. That... Then I'd like, yeah, that would have been like... That, that's an... that, that would have been a proper, this is a new era yeah. booking. There's no this is the right. Triple H era. Yeah. No. The Paul Triple H Lebesky era, thank you very much. Oh, sorry. Please use his full title sorry. as shown on screen. But yeah, it was solid. The ending was quite good as well. I like how it's so the bread and butter of the main isn't it? It's the stare down between the four. It goes on and what happens in the men's match is not what happens here, but this is quite a quick finish. Yeah. Yeah. It goes from three or four people to a couple in no, no time. As soon as Liv comes out, they're speeding through. Yeah. Yeah, and then you've got the stare down between Liv, Jade Cargill, and Bailey, who the last, who are the last three, which is nice to see yeah. that Jade Cargill is in the last three, like kind of built as a star. This was the, this was, I think, the moment when I was convinced that yeah, Bailey's won this. I um, yeah, 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 yeah. This is like she's gonna win. We ha- you, you have the fear of God that mm-hmm. yeah, oh no, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, and if J- Jade Cargill was ready, maybe. So Jay Cargill ends up getting knocked out by Liv Morgan and Bailey Lodge of Baseball. Out of nowhere as well. Out of nowhere, yeah. and it's a great yeah. finish. And that made the pop better. Mm-hmm. If it was a stare down then between Liv and Bailey still won, I don't think he would have went yeah, over as well as... Yeah, me, you, and my cousin were like, yeah, come on, fucking Bailey, yeah, yeah. let's go. Good. And the whole Bailey eliminating Bianca mm-hmm. with Tiffy's holding the hair. Yeah. It's great. It just works. Yeah. The whole thing works. But yeah, we'll get into more about how we think this is going to go in the prediction segment later. So the men's rumble, which it was, I don't want to say it was bad because it wasn't bad. And I've rewatched it since to confirm that it wasn't bad. It just wasn't anything stand out. No. no. Everyone, I don't think there was a bad person in it. We all there was no knew, surprises. Well, I say we all knew who would win. There were a lot. What's gonna like? Who could win? Yeah. And Drew. Yeah. So wants you, it. Yeah. Most people would have called the winner Cody Rhodes, mm-hmm. and that, there's nothing bad about them go, following the script that everyone f- can see. Yeah. They don't have. They doesn't have to be a curveball. CM Punk didn't have to be the winner. You didn't have to have, I don't know, Bobby Lashley say to pick someone out the middle, going, "Yeah, let's have him win instead and really shake things up." Yeah. You don't need that. You can just sometimes give people what they want which is a thing they've done recently with the storylines. So they start off the Royal Rumble with Jay and Jimmy facing each other. Yes, please. No Give yeet. Me more. No yeet and yeet. Yeah. It's a great start. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a, like as soon as Jay comes out first, we're all like, it's going to be Jimmy, right? It has to be yeah. Jimmy. And then it is. Yeah, and you don't... I didn't expect both of them to last as long as they did. No. One, one of them, I think it's Jay's, like in there for like 40 odd minutes, mm-hmm. which it was very surprising. But yeah, I thought they were going to go out in like the first couple and it'll be like, this is over. Yeah. You got them two, they're doing their thing. I think you have another one. And then Andrade comes back. Everyone knew, I think, everyone he was, coming was back. expecting him to come back. I didn't think he'll be back that early in the Rumble as number four. But... Yeah, it was number four, yeah. wasn't it? So he comes out. That was the surprise. And to be honest, it's a bit of a damp squib. I love, I like his wrestling. I like. I hope his character work, from what I can see so far, looks quite cool. But yeah, you're not going to get the biggest pop in the world for him. No. Some hardcore people will. Yeah, you did. I did. I was you, like, Andrade is back. Very excited. Yeah. I was like, oh, cool, yeah. he's back. But he's not giving me the. I don't know. Uh, the big star or like a legend. Really, yeah, yeah, yeah. your legend. You want. You, yeah. you need to sprinkle a few more legends in. Mm-hmm. I know that. I know people. You don't want too many. There's a fine line of taking people out because who deserve to be there. Yeah. Like your Kofi Kingston, who's there all the time. You've got Austin Theory, Finn Balor. You want them in the Rumble. You don't want to take one of them out to get... A legend in like Yeah, and you want to still give... Like, Car- Carmelo Hayes, I think, five. He gets a good show in. Yeah. You, you need to keep these people in. But yeah, you you want to sprinkle in one or two more. There's a joke one later on. I'm just going to skip forward to mention him and then we'll go over it late because it's a small segment. But Pat McAfee, 
Yeah, it made sense. Hole. As a comedy spit, yeah, that was yeah. great. And he has a stare down with Osmos and jumps out. You love saying Osmos. Osmos is... It's Omos. Omos. Or Omos, Omos sapiens. Is... I want I want Omos, Omos to follow yes. us on TikTok. His TikTok is hilarious, man. I do like Omos. Yeah. I just yeah, for whatever reason when I'm in the flow of things. There's certain people where when we get to AEW, there's certain people that I always trip, trip up on the names. Yeah. So yeah, you've got going back then, so you've got Andrade in, you Camelo Haynes, you've got your NXT show off moment, which is cool. You go through I don't think there's anyone really else. We're mentioning for a while. No, it's you Cannon Shinsuke Fodder. Nakamura, you get Cannon Fodder. You get Santos Escobar. Dominic comes out. Yeah. You get Santos Escobar out as well. That like, tries yeah. to recruit Andrade to the Legado del Fantasma. Yeah. Santos Escobar's a good heel. Yeah. Yeah. I love Santos I can't Escobar. say the Legado del Fantasma. You got it oh, right. Go. Oh, my God. You got it right. There we go. Yeah. yeah. And Karrion Cross comes out. Dirty Dom comes out. Carlito comes out. There's a whole... Mm. Array of people. I like Carlito. He's back. He's not done a lot yet, but no, I feel he like, brings an apple. Yeah, he finally does the apple. Like he finally yeah. spits in the face. You, you you knew it was coming because they do it every year. But the two warring factions are going to have a face off. So Bobby Lashley comes down, carrying cross. They're staring at each other. I thought at one point they might kiss. They don't. <laughs> they fight. Um, that would be they've... real theater, not wrestling theater. Oh yeah. So they had a whole lot brawl to the back, didn't they? Yeah, it was quite cool. bought AOP out, bought Street Profits. Out. Yeah. You've got a couple more people come out. I think Kaiser, Fury, Bala. Mm-hmm. And you've got... Hayes gets eliminated by Bala, was a bit sad about. I, I enjoyed that. Yeah, I enjoyed it was that. a good spot, but I wanted a bit more... From Carmelo, yeah. Because like, yeah, look, well, it's a bit more... Yeah. There's quite a lot of people in the ring at this point. Yeah. That's the issue. That's the problem. You get dirty They're doing dumb, the hand-holding in the corner. Yeah, like Jimmy... Yeah. Like we, uh, this was like off episode, off podcast. Uh, Jimmy and Jay should have been fighting each other throughout the whole match until they both got eliminated. Yes, being slow. But yeah, they spent quite a bit of it, don't they? Like in the opposite corners, yeah. doing that whole catching a breath mm-hmm. moment, which is fine. But then they should have been intersections of them two fighting together. Yeah, I agree. But yeah, so you get the street profits. The Street Profits come out, don't yeah. they? Yeah, that's all yeah, part yeah, of the yeah, whole yeah. brawl to the back. Yeah. I'm glad they all weren't in. The and then that's when you get Ludwig Kaiser coming out, like, what the yeah. fuck, ladies and yeah, yeah, yeah. gentlemen. I wanted to I love that. the fact that he yeah. can do, yeah, he can get across with it. Yeah. I like his walk to the ring as well. Yeah. It's, like, woof, woof, woof. Um, it's nice. So, yeah, you, you, you're going forward now to like the 15th spot, and Cody gets his moment. He comes out, uh, gets his whoa, the pops. Huge. Does he get pyro? I never remember this. I because they spent a lot of money on his pyro. Did. I can't wait for his pyro at Mania. Mm-hmm. Predict it now. How much pyro? Three million, Three million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it equates to. Is that one one little red firework? Yeah. <laughs> Was it a load? Yeah. yeah. So the star of the show is out. Cody comes out. You've got a couple more. Kofi Kingston comes out. He don't do his usual attempt at a because he's failed spot. it a few years in a row now. That's why. Yeah, he's old. Yeah, it's. I'm looking forward to the next person who attempts to do something. So there'll be a few. Um, there'll be someone in the next few years that picks up that gimmick and is. I'm going to try and survive. Yeah. by doing jumping to a barrier, grabbing a chair, whatever else he does, landed on somebody. Um, the Cody elimination on Shinsuke stuck out to me. Oh, yeah. So he disaster kick mm-hmm, the crossroads. The crossroads on the middle rope. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Uh, just before Gunther then comes in, which was surprised that Ludwig gets knocked out, it's almost like they're trying to keep Imperium a little bit apart just to show yeah. how not huge Gunther is. Yeah, give Gunther a big, strong... Even though he doesn't... He's not been that slimy sort of heel where he's had to rely on Imperium for his victories... But yeah. I know mean like keep them separate. But they missed the ball on it after Ludwig gets eliminated. He should have got the microphone and introduced Gunther. Yeah, yeah. done the ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Gunther's booking will t- touch on a bit more in the predictions for Mania. But uh, we're both very happy with how he's been showcased. Yeah, he does his choppy chops, and then he has his face off with Cody to remind you who the last two were last, last year. year were. Yeah, and then you get a bit of meat central. Game. Mm-hmm. The meat. Meet big yeah. Bronson Reed's out. Yeah, Bronson Reed's come out at yeah. some point. I can't remember generally what moment that, when that was. But yeah, you get some big meaty men going meet at each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
you get I- Ivar's in the ring as well. He comes out yeah, with, Ivar during comes this out, whole yeah. confusion. He's, he's a big And that meat really man, yeah. adds to the meat. Mm-hmm. And then you need somebody to cleanse some meat. So the next NXT, which I forgot recently when we were talking about this, but Bron, Bron Breaker at the time was still NXT and he comes out. Yes. And he gets showcased. He puts on he a gets good his, showcase, yeah. Oh, his spears me. Yeah. That one he where gets... Ivar springboards off the middle rope and then into a spear was just, yeah, yeah me. Bron Breaker gets his good presentation. Mm-hmm. Something that they haven't done for a few years with NXT stars. Yeah. So Bron Breaker, I believe, was 20, wasn't he? Yeah. So it was a good position. Yeah. There's still quite a few people in there, but it's very easy to sell somebody when he knows a spear as well as he does. Yeah, exactly. You, you can have a ring full of people. Yeah. He eliminates... Jimmy. One, Jimmy? And Bala. Yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy Yeah, Bala, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, two quick eliminations, yeah. and then he has his stare down with Gunther yeah. uh, and gets a spear off. Mm-hmm. He, like, well, he holds up... There's a whole... He reverses yeah. and picks him up. He and looks he like, feet. oh, he's a superstar. Yeah. He drops the straps. Yeah, he's going to be made into love. the star that... He will be. And then yes. our favourite man, the Homo Sapien, comes out. The Homo Sapien. Yes, this is the bit where he gets the Pat McAfee skin. Yeah. Um, it's cool. Well, I'm just going to go over it. Bron actually gets the elimination on Homo Sapien. Yeah. Which and, is really cool. And then you get Dirty then, Dom out of nowhere. Yeah, that's really smart, yeah. right? So you don't want to destroy Bron Breaker. You've just built him up into a huge star. Mm-hmm. You could have someone like Cody Rhodes knock him out. But instead... Let's get everyone's least favorite person in the world, Dominic, Dominic Mysterio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just works. Yeah. Because you almost forget that LeBron Breaker's been eliminated because you go in, I hate you, man, mm-hmm. in a very step storytelling kind of way. Yeah. Nobody actually hates Dominic Mysterio that much. I mean, people do. Maybe his sister. Maybe people his sister. Do. She did get a glass of water. Yeah. Yeah. Will she be there this year? That's got well, something we've got part of the predictions as well. Yeah. Will he get spanked? Tune in yep. later in this episode. And then our favourite big head comes out, JD. He doesn't really get much of a show in. Uh, well, you t- this was the showing I saw was Bron gets eliminated, JD's making his way out and just gets yeah. speared. And then yes. it's time for our truth to come out at 24 yep. again. Yeah, it's 24. Yeah. So I'm pretty certain, I don't know where the clip was or what, but I'm pretty certain it was announced it was 24. Yeah. That's what made me think it's coming out in the women's. Yeah. And then this might have topped the women's bit. This was... Oh, so he comes yeah, out yeah, yeah. and thinks he's in a tag match with the Judgment Day. Yeah. So he's there in the corner, he's holding the rope, waiting for Dominic to tag he him. And it's the hot best tag. hot tag yeah. you've seen in a while. Yeah, he starts doing the Cena, like, five move of doom. Yeah, he's a hero growing yeah. up. He wants to be his hero, John Cena, even though he's older than him. Yeah, he chucked JD in the ring, yeah. which was funny because it got led to his elimination. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, they do the whole hot tag. Yeah. It's just so... Like, Gunther does yeah. plays it off so well, being, like, the person oh, yeah. that's going to get attacked by R-Truth. And yeah. It, it, the crowd were loving it. I was loving it. You were loving it. It was good. Yeah, everyone was. Yeah. yeah. And then... So you're getting into the nitty-gritty now. It's quite late. Mm-hmm. They've thinned out the crowd a little bit. Miz comes out, which I was happy with. Mm. Haven't seen much of him recently. And you get the awesome truth moments. Yeah. You get that reunion, don't you? Yeah. Which then becomes a bigger thing. Which, again, just makes you smile. Yeah. Not everything has to be serious. Give us the good stuff. Give us the funny moments. Yeah, give us the give us that feel-good moment. Give us the funny thing. Yeah, like, especially when... Yeah, sorry. Our truth saves Dom from being eliminated by the Miz. But you're like, yeah. yeah. It's like they're friends, but he's also friends with Judgment yeah. Day. But then, yeah, all good feelings die mm. because Damien Priest comes, comes out. Comes out, eliminates pissed. him, just, just clears house, doesn't he? Yeah. Which, at this point, I was annoyed with Damien Priest's presentation, especially the whole hype around the briefcase, couldn't use it, what they're doing with him kind of thing. But then he comes out here and looks really strong, and you're reminded. Like, this okay, is why no. you're money in the bank here. Yeah. yeah. They're doing him a disservice, but he's going to go out there and smash it. Yeah. And you don't, every time he goes, he's on TV, any of the tag matches he's done, any of that, you're just not getting enough of Damien Priest as Damien Priest. Yeah. It's a bit like the Rhea Ripley thing. Mm-hmm. Judgment Day is a vehicle and as a stable, it's great. Yeah. But it's holding back Rhea and arguably it holds Hold back, back Damien as well. Yeah. So yeah, that's Damien Priest comes out, squishes our truth, everyone's down in the dumps, and your main man, CM Punk, 
makes his television uh, appearance. What time is it? Clobbering time. Yeah. Yeah. I nearly said it's tippy top. <laughs> Very close to saying t- tippy top. Yeah. He comes in straight away, clears house with Dominic. Yeah. And then, th- see, this is the next. So he does that. He's getting his moves off. It's great. Next 90 seconds is gone. Your next guy coming out. I love him to bits. I want him to be involved more around Mania than he is has been. But Ricochet comes out. This spot here, he's, this is where, at this point, there's no legends. Yeah. We've got a few NXT people. We've had a one one return, really. Whoa, there should have been somebody else it in this spot. should have been a legend. It should have been someone new. It should have been the Forbidden Door or, yeah, something else. Just not Ricochet. Yeah, I don't think they have to do the Forbidden Door twice no. in the same PLE. But definitely give them somebody old school. Yeah. Get someone back. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Ricochet comes out, does his flippy flips. He loves his flippy I lo- flips. Love his, I love his flippy flips. They're great. But He gets flipped out of an elimination. He's funny as yes. fuck. He just yeah. flips out of the ring. And that's it. He's yeah. gone. Yeah. It's a bit wasted. Mm-hmm. So, Ricochet, I think, is it now that Gunther does the big chop? Yeah. He chops Miz out, and then elim- uh, Gunther also eliminates him. And then at that point, we get Drew out at 29. And then yeah. number 30, once again, I'm all for it, but it was it's Sami Zayn. Yes, yeah. Sami Zayn comes out at 30. Yeah. And I don't know if this was to make it a swerve to say, oh, Sami Zayn might win. But... If I, if just felt like thirty was wasted here. Yeah, it was. He could have. You could have been at, in at any point. Mm-hmm. They didn't know what they were doing with Sammy at the time either. Really. No, no. But he got his showcase. They were like the last six in the ring. Yeah. Like, so there's. Yeah, Rick, Rick Shake flies out the yeah. ring. You've got Sammy, Damian, Punk, Gumpfer, Cody left. Yeah. And all hell breaks loose for a bit. Nobody gets eliminated for a bit. It's quite cool. This is where um, CM Punk breaks. It. Drew does his future shock, uh, future shock DDT on Punk. Hurts his arm. It's a dangerous move because it's hurt a few people yeah. over the years. Yeah. It's a bit of random luck because of how it holds the arms when he goes down. Yeah, yeah, that's how it it's works. A bit but then, surprisingly, Sami Zayn and Damian Priest get eliminated, and you're left to the final four, which is Gunther, Cody, CM Punk, and Drew. Yeah, and it's a strong final four. Yeah, you enjoy having them four. Yeah, the, it was the, the right. Right, uh, you get the little chop off between Drew and Gunther, which was hilarious. They were both yeah, chopping shades... CM Punk and Cody to oblivion. Yeah, shades of last year's uh, triple threat yeah. between them. So yeah, you're getting towards the end of it now. It's the four. They're looking strong. You're like, who's going out? Who's winning? You've got two minds at the minute. You got Drew McIntyre's winning because they want to right the wrongs of uh, COVID and doing that whole debacle well not debacle because it's a bit harsh to say call it a debacle but you know what I'm yeah getting yeah at. i know what you mean yeah and you've got the obvious answer is cody's got to win it cody's got to finish his story give us what we want and then the money horse which is punk yeah everyone knew if punk was winning he weren't going after rome yeah that that would that would have been an easy tie together yeah if you really wanted to make cody work for it cody's get, having to go to chamber to get his match against roman yeah but then do you have enough time to build it no. up and all that yeah, you've got CM Punk smartly eliminates Drew McIntyre because there's been bad blood, there's words. That's how you want it to go down. Yeah. Gunther gets eliminated by Cody, just like last year. Keeps Gunther strong and also builds that up for further down the road when inevitably Gunther's top of the card. Yeah, when Gunther is yeah. the world. Yeah, it, that, that's how Gunther's winning the yeah. world belt, in my eyes. He beats Cody for mm-hmm. it. I agree. So you've got Punker Rhodes left, which was good. They have a Laird mini match, which is a Triple H introduction, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's been on the indies for ages where... I say the indies, it's been on AEW, it's been on TNA and the indie yeah. shows where they have a battle royale and the last two then showcase by having this mini match, which goes on for another five or ten minutes. I yeah, think that's... and Punk's doing it injured at this point. He probably doesn't know he's injured or he knows something feels he funny. He feels funny, yeah, free. it's just the adrenaline. Yeah. He gets his Pepsi plunger, which is just a pedigree. Yeah. Um, he starts talking shit, which was great. I'm going to eliminate Dusty's kid and stuff like that. Yeah. There's in a back and forth, some suplexes, some... Cody Cutter, cut um, yeah. there's a crossroads, there's a GTS, there's a pedigree. 
Yeah, it's all just it really all. Yeah. good work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you get to it eventually. Cody wins. Way, He's going to finish the story, damn it. Yeah. yeah, it's great, to be fair. Um, this bit was good. Yeah. The rest of the match was middling. The ending, as some people won't like it because it's predictable. It was like it was... high, low, and then back to a high again, wasn't it? Yeah. But it, I think it works. It does. And then they it does the whole point at Roman and I'm coming for you. Yeah. Not like um, how Booker T said it, though. No. Yeah. Oh, I broke. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's good pay per view. Uh, or PLE. Damn it. Aha. It is a pay per view. Uh, I don't know how I feel about four match PLEs at this point until I've quite enjoyed Chamber. Mm-hmm. When they did it there, and then they're going up to—is it six or seven? We're, we're going to go yeah, straight, go straight into, into the, the predictions. Yeah. So now we're here. It's going to be night one. The build-up's been really good, by the way, to this WrestleMania. Probably the best build-up they've ever had. Yeah. In a yeah, there's always been segments, but I feel like most of the main segments are hitting yeah. what they need to hit. Yeah. Even the less quotations matches on the card, like the gun for Sami Zayn at Continental Championship, like the. LA Knight, AJ Styles. The six-pack ladder match. Yeah, mm-hmm. everything's been built up correctly. Yeah. There's not been much gone wrong mm-hmm. other than the big one where The Rock came in and tried to take Cody's spot. How anyone thought that was ever going to work be over with the fans. No, it wouldn't. That's the only thing that's ever made me think this must be a work from the beginning because who in their right minds go, yeah, let's give it The Rock. Yeah, he, he looks like a good guy. He deserves it, doesn't he? Like, Frick. how do you do the whole end of this Royal Rumble with a point at Roman Reigns to then a week or so later going, I'm going to give up my shot? Yeah. And then they did the whole kickoff panel, which worked well. I've never watched a kickoff panel in my life, really. I'd, Not like a conference panel no. like that. I'd, uh, yeah. Until the slap, and I was like, I'll put it on. Yeah. I like how they've got Seth involved with it. That was a good build up. Yes, he looked a bit out of place at times, but he carries it well. He he's does, got that yeah. Belt on he's, him. He is the scapegoat. Of that, and he's not, he's not. Tr- I don't think he is, and we'll get to this, but I think he doesn't mind not being the main star of that, yeah, tag match, yeah. which works really well. And he's got to pull double duty, just like Cody, just like Roman, yeah, with an injury. Mm-hmm. Like he's been in rehab originally. I thought they were going to do the tag match and they'd do a cash in or something because of the, the injury. injury, yeah, but apparently he's fairly healthy. Yeah. Probably signed off a few weeks ago, been doing live shows. Mm-hmm. So whatever rehab he's done has, has worked. worked. Yeah. Yeah. Night one. I've wrote the, I don't know if you've got it on your screen. Now. I so haven't got, got it on my, uh, I can okay. get it on my screen. I wrote these down as what I saw on Twitter. So they might not be, they are the matches on the right night, night one, night two. I don't know if this is the order. I don't think anyone knows what the running order is. No, I don't think is. we know the order. My guess of first match night one is Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. Let's open this show with potentially the best match of the weekend. Let's just do it. I think it's strong opening, yeah. You're... Where else does it go on the night one? You can't have it anywhere, really. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Other matches you can Fit get in. around and put yeah. in. Yeah. This build-up has been quite good. bit understated. How did we start it? It was Becky Lynch saying she... Oh, it started actually before Chamber. That was really weird, wasn't it? Yeah. So you had Becky Lynch trash-talking Rhea going, I'll come in for your belt when she had to get through the Elimination Chamber first. You've got her trash-talking. We go to Australia. Rhea Ripley has not been a part of Judgment Day for a couple of weeks because she has to play the baby She has face to be the baby face, yeah, in Australia. Against Nia Jax. Town, but... And she can't stand next to Dominic Mysterio yeah. and go, I'm a good guy. Because yeah. everyone, everyone hates Dominic. Dominic. Yeah, and like he got booed in Australia. They actually cut away from the TV taping at one point because everyone was everyone sticking was their middle finger up at him. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. So, how do you see this match going? Um, I see Rhea Ripley dominating the match. Becky Lynch doing the six moves of Becky, where Beck exploders everywhere. I reckon we'll see tables. I reckon Rhea will go through a table or one of the multi match announced tables. It's not a DQ. Ah, but it, it, anything goes, right? Okay. Ultimately, I think Rhea's losing. Okay. So you think Becky's walking out of Mania Champion? Yeah. 
not the I right decision, so. but I going with my Booker mentality, Becky's winning. I still think Rhea's winning. I think this is the night that makes Rhea Ripley that level of superstar. She had one arguably the best match of Mania last year against Charlotte Flair. Um, now she's got Becky. Come, then next year she'll Becky. face Bailey, and then the year after that, Mercedes Monet will come back, and then she's it's beat all of the four horsewomen. She is the horseman. Yeah. No, I think this. If they're doing this right, Becky Lynch has alluded to it. She's not signed a new contract yet. If we look at it from that angle as well, I think Becky wants some time off. Mm-hmm. The daughter's quite young. She wants to be at home a bit more. She's probably angling for a bit more of a part-time gig, fair play, and wants that bag of money. So she's probably also advocating behind the scenes, let me put Rhea Ripley over even more. Yeah. Let's make her the champion of champions here. And Judgment Day is not going to last forever. So Rhea Ripley needs to go from Judgment Day to the next level. Do they end Judgment Day the Monday after Mania? Probably not. No. It's not far away, though. Mm-hmm. SummerSlam at the very latest, I say. So you've got Rhea Ripley, has got to come out of Mania still looking as strong as ever. Because it's going to be a downward slope for Judgment Day from here on. So Rhea Ripley has to be champion in my eyes. And curveball, Clash at the Castle 2 is happening in Glasgow. Let's have the rematch there. Let's have Becky win there in Glasgow. Becky could win there. Yeah. And then they, they don't have to hold these titles for as long as they're doing. And at some point, this will come to an end, the whole really long title reigns. We'll go, well, might not be Attitude Era, let's change the belt every Monday night. Mm-hmm. But Rhea Ripley can have a two or three match feud with Becky Lynch now, with the title going back and forth for a bit. Yeah. And Becky, yeah, Becky could win it in Glasgow at Class of the Castle too. So you're going yeah, with Rhea? That's... I'm going Rhea. I'm you're going, going Becky. Becky. Yeah. Okay. We need a little I like tally. It. I know, we've got to have a yeah. tally. We're going to uh, keep scores. Yeah. So, second match I had on the card, because I don't know. I couldn't quite figure out where what goes where. I've put Gunther versus Sami Zayn okay. for the Intercontinental. Mm-hmm. Might not be. It's definitely but... on night one, though, because they have announced what's yeah. on night one and what's on night yeah, two. Yeah, they've said it's on night one. Yeah. Choppy Chops versus the ultimate underdog. Chad Gable has been coaching Sami Zayn. Chad Gable should be the man in this match. He should Sami be Zayn. the man in this match, yeah. And How he didn't win that. It really looked, Chad Gable looked weak when they did a gauntlet match. He came out last... He lost, yeah, he and then he still lost. Still lost. I was sad. I like Sammy, but I want Chad Gable in this match. Because they had, as we did when we've gone through the Slammy Awards, which comes in the next episode, but we've recorded ahead of time. Ooh, breaking the fourth wall again. Yeah. Chad Gable, we Gunther had one of the matches of the year, and it was in the category for match of the year. So, arguably, Chad Gable v Gunther sh- should go again. It will in the future because Chad Gable is going to be around for a while. Gunther is going to be around for a while. But for now, Gunther versus Sami Zayn. What do you think? I, My heart wants Gunther to win. But once again, it's going to be Sami. Sami's going to win unless they throw a curveball and this is my fantasy booking going on Chad Gable turns on Sammy which makes Gunther win oh do you think Chad Gable heel turn mm-hmm. at Mania oh no see I'm, I think Gunther retains just outright I think Sammy gives it his best shot gets close pushes Gunther as far as Gunther's been pushed and then Gunther wins because this is what gets him to the next... Again, same as Rhea. Keeps that momentum, keeps him pushed. Yeah. And there's going to be total changes already on this mania. Mm-hmm. Some people have to keep the belts. So in my head, these are the two that keep their belts for now. Gunther will lose soon. Will he go as far as the summer again? Could he lose it? He's not, I, I don't think he's he going... Hold... I hope he keeps it forever until he retires. He is the best Intercontinental Champion they've had. And he has got Bash in Berlin late summer, early August? No, September. Yeah, he's not. I don't think he's still champion then. If he is, wow, what a title run. Arguably better than Roman's because Roman's just part-time. So who are you going for? I've gone Gunther. I've gone Sammy. Okay. 
I don't, yeah, I don't know how long he keeps it yeah. for. But yeah, I think Gunther keeps the bell at Mania. I think it's going to be a great match as well. Third match, the six pack ladder match. I'm not going well, let, okay, let's go for all. <laughs> Judgment Day of the Champions. Yep. You've got DIY, yep. Johnny Gargano, and Tommaso Champa. Tommaso Champa. Yeah, you were close. I, I was close enough. Awesome Truth. Don't need to say who's an awesome truth. They're awesome. The New Day. A Town Down Under, which is what Grayson Waller and Austin, Austin Fury call themselves. Yeah. I did not know that was their name for a while. I like that name. Is that new? No, it's been that for since they were a tag team. Oh, okay. The worst name in... I'm not calling them that. Pete Dunn and Tyler Bates. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So this is... They've got a weird stipulation. Well, it's not a stipulation because I feel like it's a concept that's been done before. But they've explicitly stated that the Raw and SmackDown championships are hung up one each at the top. And both of them have to be pulled down to be both champs. If someone pulls down Raw, they're Raw champ. If someone pulls down SmackDown, they're SmackDown champ. Kind of the finish already. Are you fantasy booking right now? Shall we what? fantasy book this one? How, how do we want it? This is how oh, I okay. see it. This is how I see it. So, yeah, you're right. you got one Raw, you got one SmackDown. And then... They're going through the match, yeah, there's spots everywhere, there's spots everywhere. And towards the end of the match, you'll have... I would, I would, I'd give DIY, I'd, I'd say Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano comes up, and then you've got Pete Dunne coming up, slugging, slugging, going for the titles. They, let, they hold on to the titles, and then the ladder goes, and it's like Edge at Mania all over again. But this time... You get Gargano getting the Raw Championship and yeah. Pete Dunne getting the SmackDown Championship. Okay. I, I've not thought about it in that much detail. I feel like Awesome Truth have to get one of the belts. Okay. They don't have if to hold it for They could lose it the next... They could lose it... No, they could lose next night. They could lose that but, uh, Monday Night Raw. This, they can have it. They could even lose it back to the Judgment Day, but I feel like Awesome Truth have to get one of them out. Mm-hmm. Our truth needs that moment. We need that moment for our truth. That is the, that, that would be the first feel good moment. Rhea's just won. Gunther's just won. None of the heroes have won yet. Let's have Awesome Truth win one. I do want Pete Dunne and Tyler Bay to win the other one. I can't call them Newcastle. Probably. No, I hate it. But I do. If you're going for victories and they. They keep them still the Raw and SmackDown tag champions. What yeah. one team would you have win? My heart says I want Pete and Tyler Bate to win. I'd give it awesome truth, and then I said they yeah they could just lose them again then over the next night or the night after for, or the next few weeks. Yeah, for this one, I'm going with the Judgment Day retains. See, in my head, this is where the downfall of the Judgment Day starts. They lose. Oh, the we'll tag come belts. back to the fantasy booking. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm going. Awesome Truth get one. New Catch Republic get the other. Okay. And they could even do it. Our Truth gets the belt off. Goes. I've won. And basically Miss starts is to like, leave you with need the to Get the other one. And yeah, get the other one. And then they have them. And then yeah, someone like, else gets that. Pete one. Dunne runs up the ladder or Tyler Bate, and they grab. The That's next a one. good. But bo- yeah, I'd. I would laugh at that. I think that. There's got to be good. something yeah, like yeah. that. And that then that also lends to your uh, Judgment Day could re- win the. That raw belt off awesome truth mm-hmm. then the next night. Yeah. Okay. So you're going Judgment Day retains. Yeah. Okay. Crush my dreams, you do. The next match I think will be Jey Uso v Jimmy Uso. Brother v Brother. There's been a really good promo recently of these pair showing the brother v brother rivalry through the years. And then he's coming to this modern day one. Didn't need much build up, but the build up we have got has been good, and it's tied in with the further bloodline story. I agree, but are you yeet or no yeet? I'm going to go yeet. I want to go no yeet, but I know yeet is going to win. Yeet's got to win this, surely. I don't see how they have Jimmy win. Jimmy I just don't. is that slimy guy, and like, where does so like the, does the black hoodie come out in this match, or does the black hoodie? I come think out he in comes out multiple event? times this night. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I don't see where they go with this afterwards. If Jay don't, mm-hmm. he's been bullied, he's been betrayed by his brother all year long. Can you have it 
end on that sour note. Are they going to continue this on to next year? That's all in my head. I'm like, how do they keep going? How does Jay lose and then wash over it straight away? Yeah. Or they go, are they going to Backlash or the Saudi show and having a, a match there? See, I want this to be the match of the night. But all we know is going to be super kicks everywhere. Yeah, it'll be impressive. Mm -hmm. It'll make both of them look good. But I also don't particularly care which one wins. Yeah. But I'm just going Yeet wins. Yeah, Yeet wins, but I'm no Yeet. Yeah, you're okay. Right. Bianca Belair, Jay Cargill, Naomi versus Damage Control. Can we just skip over this? (laughs) Yeah, probably. Who's going to win? Jay Cargill's winning. Yeah. Not even that team yeah. of three people. Yeah. Jay Cargill's winning. The Such match. a pointless Jay match. Car- Jay Cargill's just it, it, all this is to make Jay, Jay, Jay Cargill look like a beast yeah. and carry on her rise. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say about that one. Then you're happy. I'm happy. I want to skip over the next match because this next match is. I've even got to change because. So it's Dragon Lee, Rey Mysterio versus Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar in a tag match. Why it's not Carlito, I don't know. Wow, well, it's not Dragon Lee anymore. Yeah, okay. This is the morning after SmackDown, so we're now and now it's Andrade. It's Andrade. Why is it not Carlito? They're going to do a heel turn on Carlito now, aren't mm-hmm. they? Because he's going to be pissed off. Yeah. I've said my my thought on this is who cares? Dirty Dom's winning because he's going to set up a trilogy with his father. I want Dirty Dom and Santos to win because I love them both as heels. Yeah. But also, and I want Dirty Dom to do the pinning. Would it work? With Andrade, though, because like he's the fresh person. He's not. Yes, because it's going to be Carlito spits an apple in Andrade's face. Okay, okay. That is the way you do it and protect him, isn't it? Dominic's got a pin Ray. Mm-hmm. It's fuck. Ray won last year. Dominic won this year. I'm just going to say won. He's not. He's winning. Yeah. He's going to, he won it. And they're going to have a another one. Maybe next Mania, maybe another event. There's going to be... Probably his Rey Mysterio's last match as well is him be his Dom son. again, yeah. Yeah. Dirty Dom Mysterio. So... I'm going with Dirty Dom pins Rey Mysterio. I'm going to be quite precise as well. Okay. Dirty I, I agree with Mysterio. you that Dom and Santos will win. Something yeah. we agree on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel bad for Dragon Lee, by the way. Mm-hmm. I was quite looking forward to seeing him in a tag match. And then it's the main event of night one. The biggest tag match in all of history without a tag belt. It's stupid, but they're going to call it that. So Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins, the frickin' nightmare team, up against the bloodline of the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns and The Rock, the final boss. I thought you were going to skip over the final boss. (laughs) No, because I want this tequila to sponsor us. The Rock, what are you saying, mate? Send us tequila. Send us tequila, we'll sip it on stream. On stream, on podcast. Stream, if you want us to stream. We'll stream it, to be fair. We were talking the other day about streaming the new WWE game when one of us gets it. We are terrible. We will just get people laugh at us, but it will be fun. The build-up is the build-up. It's been the best thing since Game of Thrones. Early Game of Thrones, not the end of Game of Thrones. It's been pure cinema. There's been mother references, father references. There's been blood. There's been swearing. There's been weight belts being whipped around. There's been some really good promos and some not so good promos. There's been some weird Instagram videos. There's been some full on TV interviews. There's been a cowboy. Yeah. The build up to this has just written its own story. I don't think we need to go over much of it because he's just been that good. Um, Inject it in my veins has been my catch line for weeks. Yeah. All with Natesh wakes up to most Saturdays, bar today, has been Natesh waking up to me, texting, going, inject more inject more because the rock's entrance has grown a life of its own yeah it's it's just for three weeks now each week's been different and i'm looking There's, forward to what entrance um night yeah. one yeah so we didn't talk about the stage in this yet so far so they've revealed the stage wrestlemania 40 i really like the look of it i like how simple it is i didn't particularly like last year's one because it looks a bit tacky to me mm-hmm. if we're whenever we watch that ple back We'll point out there was a couple of bits that made us go, yeah, it was good and it's impressive. But I like the one this year. I like how. But one thing that made me worry is where's the lightning going? What's it going to look like? 
how is the rock coming out? Yeah. Cody's gonna get his moment, there'll be pyro. Three million dollars worth of pyro. I think there's gonna be three different colours. It's gonna go phew, all different ways. It'll do it once or twice. Yeah. Seth Roll- Rollins is coming through the crowd, I believe. I'm gonna say. Yeah, you were it saying might be in that. shield gear. Yeah, I think he's because he's done it a few times recently. I know it's their surprise there coming out the crowd and that. I feel like he's doing it. I got a funny feeling with his attire. I feel like he's going to come out as Rocky Maivia's attire, like the blue poncho, like tassels and that. Tassels, yeah. I'd love that. Um, he'll still have his full on trousers on, mm-hmm. but that'd be the blue. We have to, yeah, I'd love him to see that. Roman Reigns will take an eternity to get to the ring. Yeah. We're all good to put our fingers up in solidarity with how long we've just spent uh, waiting We'll for try and keep our finger up throughout the whole. Oh, yeah, there will be that. The match is going to be a great match. If you've seen anything about the build-up about The Rock's had a full-on boot camp, as much of a spoiler as it is, he's had Bobby Roode, he's had... Oh, who is it? Three, three of the... Uh, uh, Wolf. Uh, yeah. Oh. Dead, Deadless. It is Wong uh, and the Coffee Brothers, yeah. Alice. Training him and... Gallus. Oh, that's right, yeah. Gallus. Yeah. yeah. Full on like boot camping with him in LA and they've got a second ring. I don't know where the second ring was, but they made a point of saying there's two rings yeah. and a warehouse. And The Rock was doing Rocky moments. He's running up steps in Philadelphia. Oh wait, no, Cody should be doing that. Um or Sylvester Stallone comes out and just punches the yeah. wall and oh, he's the, the I'm surprised boss. there hasn't been a Sami Zayn promo running up those steps, by the way. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this tag match has the stipulation that if the Bloodline win, the main event on night two between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns is a Bloodline rules match. What's the Bloodline's rules match? Is it a Firefly with an house match? Oh my God, imagine if it's cinematic and they're like people oh, in the fans are like, where is everyone? Yeah, so that stipulation to me has actually told me the winner. The Bloodline here are winning. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I, I have a particular finish. The Rock is pinning Cody. Okay. Skipping forward a little bit, I think Seth doesn't win night two. I can't have, in my head, I can't have Seth lose two, two main event uh, or two big events at Mania, what, it, Saturday, Sunday. So- the Rock's going to get the belt out, whatever he's going to do. He's going to be whipping people. Roman Reigns is going to tie up Seth Rollins because that's future. That is, the current feud is Cody and Roman, but you've still got Seth and Roman to. Figure, figure out, out down and the line. Finish off, yeah. The Rock's pinning Cody, and then that sets up The Rock coming back after some Hollywood business, some tequila business. He comes back for Cody Rhodes in the summer, maybe autumn time if there's another Saudi show, which probably is. That is night one. The Rock pins Cody Rhodes. We all cry. We will cry. I agree with The Rock pinning Cody, but I think Seth is going to be the cause of that. I can't see it. There's a lot of people saying that. I just can't see it. I don't want Why? him to. But I don't it's the only way I can see Cody losing taking the loss. No, see that's that's why I say the rock's pinning yeah. him because if Roman was pinning him, yeah. I could see that happening. Mm-hmm. But the rock's a big enough entity to pin Cody and make everyone calls it on Twitter on how I'm gonna use it. It's the Avengers storyline. This is Infinity War. You're meant to be crushed at the end of it. Yeah. How would you crush them the most is have Cody. I just absolutely. really hope that The Rock doesn't turn. No, it doesn't make sense anymore for The Rock. That was the original. He's plan. the heel. That now. would have been originally. Yeah, he is yeah. the fully fledged heel. He should. That stick went out to the window it. when the Mama Rhodes comments mm-hmm. and the blood and the bell yeah. come out. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my opinion. One. So you go in with the long wins? The bloodline, yeah. Are you going any further? You've put in your house on Seth Rollins turning. I've put my money on Brock. I, I'm thinking Seth Rollins turns, yeah. Okay. So we've got stipulations in our matches here. Yeah. Night two. I feel like this kicks off with Rollins v McIntyre. It has to. Yeah. Yeah, fallout of night one. Yeah. I feel like Drew wins. Guess the new champion. I will go with Seth wins and then my fantasy booking time now. Here we go. Are you guys all ready? So Seth wins, right? Damien Priest is coming out. He's coming out. Mr. Senior Money in the Bank. 
He wants to cash in. He wants to cash in. Gives the briefcase on. Contract comes out. It's like, where the fuck's the contract? Finn Balor comes out. Hits him with the money in the bank briefcase. Hits the coup de grace on Seth. One, two, three. Finn Balor. Champion. Didn't you just say Judgment Day were retaining the tag belts? Yes. So you're having them retain tag belts, and but then yes. still break up? Yes, I oh, am. Oh, I love it. Yes, I am. Oh, I love it. I think Drew wins, but Damien cashes in. Because then that sets up Drew winning at Clash of the Castle too. But Drew should stay heel. Yeah, Damien. Yeah, they, you don't. You can do Shades of Grey. You don't have... Yeah. Well, Dave, Drew's not going to be a heel in Glasgow. No. It's his hometown. Yeah. As much as they try to sell Cardiff as his hometown. Glasgow's his actual hometown. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I can see oh, Drew winning. Yeah. If he doesn't get cashed on now, Damien's cashing it on Drew McIntyre. At some point, backlash or whenever, to set up Clash, Clash of the Castle, the Castle too. I'm convinced of that. Yeah. You can't tell me otherwise. Yeah. That's the main event of Clash of the Castle too. is Damien Priest v. Drew McIntyre. Okay. I'm probably completely wrong and everyone's going, you're full of shit. But it's the way I see it. So you see it. So you're going with Drew wins. I'm going with Damien Seth. cashes in. I'm going with Seth. I'm going to say Damien Ballard cashes in. And you're going to go the champion. Okay. Next, I put down Eo Sky v. Bailey, which is going to be my match of the weekend. It won't be the best match. It wouldn't be match of the year. But the story. I'm so invested. Yeah. Like, and we both said earlier we're huggers. Mm-hmm. We both like Bailey. It's her time. I'll Give her this. Imagine Bailey comes out to. Her I'm a hugger theme song and like it's back to original Bailey. That would be it would brilliant. Be like the inflated I don't think she will. Men. Like, ah, yeah. yeah. Bailey wins though. Bailey's new champ. I don't know what else to say about the match. Damage control probably try and get involved. Yeah. Do you have it continue? Do you have Bianca, Naomi, and Jay Cargill come out? No. Overbooking mess. Yeah. Which is ironic considering what we're going to talk about at the end of the night. But they can't do I it think, multiple yeah. times in the night. I right? think damage control come out, but Bailey still wins. Yeah. I think Bailey gets round up somehow and wins. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's much more else to put for that match. No. It's just going to be a good time. Yeah. Let me talk to you. Like the AJ Styles. Build-up's not been the best. I've, I have enjoyed a few bits. There was a really cringe bit the other night. Was it last night? With well, the blood and the... That press, press conference, conference where it was just like a Roman Greco wrestling match. Yeah. Was just How did AJ Styles actually bust his nose? Bleed? I don't know. It's know. weird. Um, It'll be a good match. Yeah, AJ Styles doesn't have a bad match, does he? That's no. Like... I don't think LA Knight would do either. They're both old men. Mm-hmm. So, if... so LA Knight's like 41, 40. AJ Styles is like 46? Something like that. He's old. He's over 45, yeah, yeah. I'm sure he is. He might be... Fo- no, he can't be 48. No. He looks younger than he is, mm-hmm. and he looks in good shape. But yeah, this is like... This is the type of match I like at Mania. I wish the build-up was a bit better because it doesn't have to be a title match. No, just a huge match, yeah. Yeah, just have a good feud. Yeah. But yeah, I think LA Knight wins and he gets his LA Knight yeah moment. I will also go with LA Knight winning, although I do want AJ Styles to win. Oh, yeah. AJ Styles has had a disservice at Mania yeah. before. A few times. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he lost his introduction. Uh, makes me sad. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't mind AJ Styles winning. I think LA Knight gets the pop, though. Be- mainly because of what... That, thinking of this next match, Logan Paul v. Kevin Owens v. Randy Orton, triple threat for the United States Championship. I'm just going to say it. Logan Paul re- retains. Oh, yeah. Logan Paul definitely retains, and KSI will help him. Oh, uh, yeah. No, it's going to be the random guy from the crowd. I think the random guy will be KSI. Plot twist. Plot twist. No, because it's... The plot twist. It's Green Shirtman. God, what? That would be crazy. Imagine. Green shirt yeah. man helps him. Yeah, Logan Paul retains. I think it'll be a good show in. Randy Orton will work well with him more so than Kevin Owens did at Rumble. Mm-hmm. I think coming out of it as well, you go straight into a Kevin Owens v. Randy Orton feud. I agree. And Kevin Owens needs to become... Yeah, and I think Logan Paul then needs to go and have a good run as the United States champion. He's actually been a quite impressive champion. Yeah. Just needs to be around a bit more. Yeah. Because he's, I think he's even said he wants to be around a bit more now. He's got, he's got the itch for he's, it. That's yeah, he's it getting is. better and better. Yeah. he's enjoying it. And I, I like he likes him. being a bad guy. I think he's yeah. a good wrestler. 
Yeah. And not just because I want sponsored by Prime. I'll drink, I'll drink Prime. But D- is this good... water bottle I keep using could definitely. He is he is a good wrestler. Yeah, he's won me over a lot. He won me over last mania. He won me over Summer during Sam. this year more and more. Yeah. yeah. He's just everything's very rehearsed from him because he has the time to rehearse for his matches. But now it's coming a bit thicker and faster. You're starting to see actually he's pulling this off. He's, you can tell he puts the work in. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, we're both saying Logan Paul, and I'm saying KOV Randy coming out of the other end. That's what I want to see anyway, but definitely Logan Paul retains for me. What's the pride? Bobby Lashley's Street Profits. They are the pride, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. The Hurt Business. The, yeah, but they're not called no. that, are they? They should be the Hurt Business. Uh, so the be Hurt the business. Final Testament, Karrion Cross, and the Offers of Pain, which is now a Philadelphia street fight. Yeah. It's a street fight. Gimmick match. match. It's fine. Bobby Lashley and that will win. Yeah. This is like the LWO match. Like, who cares who wins? Who cares who wins? It's a piss break match, I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be great, I don't think. This is the thing to get the crowd, like, mellow in preparation of, like... This is so people can get a hot dog. Yeah. Get a beer. Get a beer. Go to toilet, toilet. Yeah. After this is over, it's everyone moves on with their lives. Mm-hmm. Don't know what they do. They ain't carrying this feud, aren't they? It should have ended before now. Yeah. So, yeah, this we've gone through not too quite quick, but it's, it's quite straightforward. Roman Reigns v. Cody Rhodes. The, here we are, night two, main event, undisputed WWE Universal Championship match. My God, that is hard to say. <laughs> Please cut it down. Just call it WWE Championship. This is going to be bloodline rules. Now, no matter who I want to win, Right, I want absolute carnage. I want every man and their dog in the arena. I want Drew, Drew McIntyre chasing Seth Rollins around. I want Jimmy and Jay beating each other up. I want John Cena beating up Solo Sokoa. Just give it me. I don't know who said it. I was watching a YouTube video this week. It might have been Simon Miller. He basically said, we're only on this planet for a short time. I want the overbooked mess. Give it me. And I'm in like, that camp. It doesn't need to make sense. John Cena doesn't have to be in the build-up. Stone Cold doesn't have to be in the build-up. Let the glass shatter. Have the, to fr- from earlier, give us the Avengers moment. Have everyone come from left and right and in the crowd and have it clear the ring of all the interference and the rock. Get them all out of there and have Roman Rose, Cody, Roman Reigns speak Cody Rhodes, stare down after. I want half an hour of chaos and then I want 15 minutes of them two just going back and forth, spear into crossroads, into disaster kicks, into Superman punches. Give me everything and then have Cody win. Hi, guys. I'm Natasha and I'm part of this podcast too. <laughs> no, no. This is the Aaron show. <laughs> Finish the damn story. Um, yeah, I, I totally agree. I think overbook that shit. Make it carnage. It's bloodline rules. Have the rock out. Have the bloodline out. But then also yeah. have your Cody people. Give me Dustin. Give me gold dust. No, you're not getting that, mate. I mean, not anymore. The whole like cheap like digs that they keep doing at poor old AEW. But well, hang on, AEW have been doing them for ages. <laughs> AEW have done them for ages and you've loved it. Now that WWE has fired the guns, you're like, oh no, the poor AEW. No, because I don't agree with AEW doing that as well. They should stick to their lane and WWE stick to their lane. It's the wrestling oh, business. The wrestling business has made it how it is. Selling tickets, my friend. Selling tickets. Yeah. But give me that carnage. Give me Dustin. I can fantasy book that. Yeah, you can fantasy book it. It's not happening. That that is the that's the line in the sand I've got. Yeah, he, I, can, I can see Brandy Rhodes getting involved. Mm-hmm. I can see Mama Rhodes getting involved, catching the belt, whooping the rock out of the. That, that's where no, I kind of want if, the rock to whoop Mama Rhodes. No, I want Mama Rhodes with the belt, whipping the rock and chasing him down the ramp. Yeah. The ramp. <laughs> There's an, yeah. Or Triple H. Get Triple H out there to interfere with The Rock. Mm-hmm. They can't... If The Rock... If, sorry. If Triple H could wrestle still, that probably would have been the setup for... A, Rock versus Triple H yeah. at Mania, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going with Cody wins this. You going with Cody? No. You think... You, how can they do it? How can Ro- Roman win? Because... Who beats him this then? This is the issue. What, Tell me. What's Cody going to do when he's the champion? It will get boring really quick. 
I love... That's Triple H to sort out that. I know. That's not now. Like, I'm more into the whole him chasing the gold. But they've put their stipulation, haven't they? That The Rock said that if Cody doesn't win on night two, he can never go for that belt again while Roman's champion. Yeah. While... Who win, Who beats Roman? Gunther. Or, let me go fantasy book it. You're going to book The Rock to... No, no, no. So, Reigns wins, right? Ignore what I said before. Damien Priest comes out. He cashes in the money in the bank. Oh, wait, it's not his money in the bank. It's Finn Balor. Finn Balor How hits him in the bank. How many contracts has he got? Finn Balor no. with the coup de grace, and then he's the Universal Championship that he never lost. Oh, you can see... Right, them cashing in at Mania. I can't see it cashing in this match because it shades the Seth Rollins too much. Mm -hmm. I'll counteract your Cody point. They will book him as the babyface champion he will be until SummerSlam. Rock beats him. He's the champion. He can do the part-time gig too. The Rock probably has a Saudi match. Roman probably goes away for a while after this. Roman says he's done. What happens if Roman Reigns comes back for the Royal Rumble, though, and wins? And then you get the fucking... Then you get Roman Reigns, yeah. The Rock, WrestleMania oh 41. God, that's going to happen, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I have on speed dial Triple H. <laughs> if, I, I can book this. Yeah. This is what's happening. I'm telling you now. We, we, I've got crystal we've ball We've gone through multiple scenarios of this. Right. Cody Rhodes is winning. And I'm telling you now. I weren't as convinced until I just came out of my mouth, but The Rock beats Cody SummerSlam for the belt. I'm pretty sure The Rock has a film he's filming from like June until mid August. Then he'll be free. Yeah. Then he's free. Then he could do one or two appearances up until the Saudi show, defend it there against somebody. A couple more gets to Rumble. You could do Cody v The Rock at Rumble, but I think it squishes Cody a bit too yeah. much. Yeah. You have Roman come back for the Rumble. Yeah. Have him win. Okay, have him win I, the belt I've, back again. I'll change my I'll change my mind to oh. Cody wins because that's what's going to happen. Cody's winning, mm -hmm. and then you get we still get what they want. You still get Roman versus The Rock, yeah. but it's next year. Yeah, don't know what Cody will do next year. He'll be probably world heavyweight champion. Mm. Yeah, that was my run. This is the whole reason we've done this segment, by the way, so I could get this run off my chest. It works. It does. Yeah. And on that Roman Reigns yeah. will lose. Roman Reigns loses. I need to lie down. What time is it? I'm going to. We've got mania tonight. <laughs> I need to get a nap in. Yeah. Americans don't know how hard they've got it. They complained about Elimination Chamber, but My I God. think does it start at 12 a.m. Yeah. Kickoff. Uh, so midnight. I, I don't know actually because I'm pretty sure they decided that they'll start at 11 today. Because today, mania's going to be mania six or seven hours long yeah. tonight. So it'll still finish at 5 a.m. 100. percent Yeah. But. Um, yeah. So yeah, we, I'm going to go get a nap. Wow, we're going to edit this together. We're getting a nap. I'm going to head to Natasha's house with an energy drink. Only drink energy dr drinks when we're staying up to watch this. I hate energy drinks normally, but there'll be takeaway. Most of your family are there. It's going to be a great night. I hope everyone enjoys WrestleMania night one, no matter what you think is going to happen. And we will be back. Wow, you'll see this at the same time. We will have our reaction to night one coming out on monday everyone enjoy your mania night everyone enjoy it enjoy it enjoy the ride the rock is taking you on it doesn't matter what happens as long as it's interesting and even if you're angry just wait have some patience and see what comes next yeah. um, although i will be crying <laughs> half the outcomes if i'm wrong well yeah we will definitely cry yeah and once again don't forget you can like and follow us on instagram x tiktok watch our videos on youtube just give us love and our social handles are at make fan of you and on youtube it's will make fan out of you that's the name of the podcast let us know how we're doing let us know what you want us to talk about as well give us give us some ideas we're an open book we are we very much want to enjoy giving you content yeah exactly and also, if you're an independent wrestling promoter and want someone to book your matches for you, I am available. He would really love that. He would really love Just give me one night of glory. Yeah. At this rate, I might as well be Triple H. We will see how horribly wrong I am. I'm probably wrong on everything, but I wish I'm right. You can, you can only wish. But 
on that note, yep. thank you everyone for listening. And once again, hit that music.